Good morning. Welcome to Bars and Bells. My name is Ian. And I'm Lauren. And this is the weekend workout where we invite you to play with your strength. Work on bodyweight skills like the handstand. But first, let's start nice and simply with our breath. In a position comfortable for you, on the ground, in a chair. Let's get down on the floor, get comfortable, and let's check in with the breath. One hand out, one hand on the chest. In the first series, think maximal breathing as we gently at first, breathe in the belly. Feel the fill, and exhale. Repeat one more time. Breath in through the nose, fill the belly. Exhale, pulling the belly button to the spine. Then repeat at the chest. Breathe in, top. Fill the lungs around 360. Exhale. Bottom hand stays calm. The top hand might move as we inhale. And exhale. Now take a big belly breath in. And hold. And then take a big chest breath in. And hold. Slow exhale. Like the crocodile. One last time, let's take a big belly breath in. Hold. Chest breath in. Hold. And a crocodile style breath out, nice and slow. Almost doing no work at all. Relax. Let's warm up those wrists, Lauren. Mmm. So nice. Get that alarm going, or I might be sleeping here. Beep, beep. Wrists. We'll go first knuckles down, extension through those elbows, and connect the full hand to the floor. Everyone's favorite, least favorite exercise from there, our first knuckle push-up, and extension through the elbows, press into the ground, return. Eight or ten of those total here. Keep it nice and controlled. Modifications include child's kind of pose or against the wall to decrease that low tension or modifying challenging different mm -hmm. positions for the last one or two. Build some strength in those wrists. Cool. Press away. From here, take a step forward into the lunge position. Think slide glide. I'll pull my front leg in and extend my back hip forward to get my knee towards over the toe. Then push forward, remain tall as Lauren grows up, pressing forward and back. Relax. Repeat. Pull yourself forward, cramp this back butt cheek in hip extension, pressing forward. Then push forward, cramp the back, scissor in those hips, relax tension. Take that front leg to the side, same thing. Head, shoulders, hips, face forward. Level the hip. Pull the ankle towards the knee underneath. Then press towards the I side. I just rolled over my knee. And then grow up that wall at the side. Grow up there. And repeat one more time as you pull. Slide, shift. And press towards that direction to go up there. Then return that leg to the front and underneath. And switch. Is this hip hiked? Mine usually is. So we'll level those hips as best we can. Then squeeze your back butt cheek, press into the floor through the front, and pull forward. A little dark here on the legs, but you can see now how Lauren's knee is going towards over the toe. And then from there, press forward, but keep that hip extended in the back, but we're still tall. No hinging on that hip. One more time, we'll pull forward, press away. Grow tall, relax the tension, heel toe towards the side. Same thing, I'll pull this ankle underneath the lateral knee towards here, and then pressing towards Lauren, growing tall, making sure that we can engage this lateral butt. And one more time, pull, and then push. How the hips feeling today? Feels good. Great. Return that leg to the front. To the front. Underneath, return to the hands, 
And Lauren, I love that down dog style. Do it. Mm. With those hands underneath your shoulders, gripping the floor, we're going to tuck our toes, gently tilt our tail slightly to the ceiling, lift our knees, and slowly lift up. Once you're here, re-tilt that tail to the ceiling again. Try to straighten the knees, but prioritize that tail tilt long spine. Gently bend the knees a little bit. Shift your weight forward your on your hands a bit. And can we press the floor away to elevate our ears and then pull the floor towards you to show our ears. Press away like a handstand, pull down. One more to stay pressed away. Retilt your tail, extend your knees or try, and then slowly walk your hands towards your feet and unfold yourself all the way up to tall. Whew. Up here, let's work on some other balances to improve our body awareness and our tension that we can place into the floor. Feet underneath and get in your handstand shape, arms towards your overhead. Then with arms extended, press down into the floor and grow up. Extend those elbows, hug the ears with the biceps. Are your rib cage down? Are we in that nice hollow position? Are you pointing your toes, stiffening your knees, squeezing your butt cheeks, keeping your ribs down, bring your arms overhead, and now take 10 seconds to slowly find the floor. Nice and control. What's bending? Stiffen it if you can. Bring some awareness to where you might lose tension, then return your hands to the floor. Hmm. And shake up. Harder than one might think. I know. Let's do our Siza squat down low, Lauren, and get Great. a series of rolls going. Rolling. With our size, that's it. We press our knees towards over our toes. Just do that once, kind of hang out, wiggle, twist, whatever feels good, and then press down and grow up. Do that again. Knees press towards over the toes. This time, can we slowly lift those heels, dropping our hips, coming onto our toes? Hang out in this low sit, again, finding a different level of balance. And then with or without your hands, soft landing on the knees. Extend your hips through, squeezing your butts, bracing your core. Untuck your toes to those pointed feet and just sit back on those pointed toes for a couple seconds. <laughs> and then we'll roll mm. to your back. On our back side. Arms out to the side like a T. I'll be taking my left hand and along the floor, brushing it to my leg at the side. Then up the body, I'll roll over. Assembling my hands in that same pencil that I shake the head for. Then I'll take that same left arm to the side, connect it to the head. Then reach and roll, assemble in your teeth. Try not to use your legs. Other side, good cue, great cue. Using that upper body, we'll take that right hand to the head. Brush it along the body, reach along center and over as you roll, as you curl. And then left hand to the hip, open up, and control to your back. One more time of each. Left hand, in my case, to the hip. I'll reach across the body, roll to arms overhead, and then left arm to the side. Back to the hip, and roll. Last time right, the hand to the hip, along the floor and the knock, reaching through the core to the boat. And then right arm to the hip, resume on the back. Watch out as you play footsies. Footsies. And then the sides of sit. Just stay there. Flip over. Yeah. Wait. Oops. Roll to your stomach. Put your hands in a push up position near your chest. Pack your shoulders back. Tuck your hips under. Brace your core. Squeeze your butt from the knees or the toes. One unit. Press it up. Place your knees down. And sit in that tall kneel. Size of sit, just did 360 degrees of turning there. In that size of sit, our point of feet, place your hands on your own cheeks and squeeze them. Squeeze them both. Now can you squeeze just the right? And then squeeze just the left. And then squeeze both, extend your hips through. Tuck your toes underneath you. With or without your hands rocking back, find your heels. Heels, 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 chest lifted. Now press into the floor to extend. Let's grow up to that two-footed balance right away. Pressing the floor away, pulling the kneecaps up, squeezing the glutes, bracing the core for three, two, slow, slow, slow with controlled descent. Shake it out. Nice. 
Back down. Leg rolls. Knees over toes. Roll up to those toes. This time as we slowly lower, can we extend our hips forward as long as possible? And then when you need to place those hips back under you, knees touch floor, soft landing. Extend, squeeze, untuck, sit back to the back. Sat. Oh, no front rolls. We're rolling front. Rolling on the front. I assemble my hands in that wider shape like a Y. From here, the beginner, model, uh, beginner progressions include taking a hand across the chest and then taking a peek out the back, trying to connect the tops of the shoulder towards the floor. Switch, hand across chest, look to the other side and feel the energy you need to screw the hand in the floor to support that movement. Stay there or progress, or we could turn that other hand up at the hip and then look through to connect the shoulder and press. Repeat, palm up at the side of the hip, take a little look out the back, breathe, press, and then if you're into it, continue. If you're into progressing, make sure your partner's out of the way and nice little roll here, ending up in our set, and maybe not today, but figuring out how to get the other direction going too. Nice and controlled. There we go. Ooh, we're into the squat sit right on. The quieter you can make this, the more efficient and the more strength that you're going to be using through this movement. Do hey, sound effects yeah, count though? Keep going on. Sound effects definitely help. You know that. You know that. So keep progressing from the hand across chest to take a look towards the hand at the hip. Oh, I thought you were going to keep going lower. Well, I was. I thought you were going to go, so I didn't want to go. Progress towards that full roll. And up. When I was six years old, my mom would know it's in my scrapbook. I wrote a note. I stunk at doing my front and back rolls. And the six times tables. And the six times tables. Holy cow. So here we are, just a couple of years later, and we're working. Just a on. couple of years. Have fun. Roll, roll, roll around. Okay, let's get up one more time, size of one. Extending those hips by squeezing both butt cheeks at the same time. Tuck your toes, with or without hands, rock back to ankles. From the ankles, try to find the toe balance. From a toe balance, press into the floor and grow to tall. Hold, maybe bring your arms back overhead. Hollow position, ribs to hips, hold, squeeze. Now with those straight knees, butt squeezed, abs braced, slowly, oh yeah, I have my ballet hands. We can have our hands, hand, hands, slowly descend. Nice. While there are a lot of crossovers between movement disciplines, the ballet fifth position and the handstand maybe, the one big difference is no soft elbows in the handstand. Yeah, that doesn't work very well. Unless you're doing your handstand push-up, right? There's rules, you can break them to explore. Yet. But for beginners, myself included, keep your elbows stiff. Use this opportunity now to crawl around like an elephant, like me, or as Lauren cues up her first entry of the day into the handstand. Okay. I'm gonna crawl really quickly is my right leg, left hand, right arm, left leg, and moving front, back, sideways, take it away. I'm gonna start with my kick ups from my favorite position, which is that tripod. Placing my hands on the floor, gripping, first shifting my weight so that it's in my fingers and first knuckles. Pressing into the floor, kick. I'm gonna alternate legs for now, scissoring my warm up here. And just again, finding that amount of, sorry, it's hard to think, the amount of kickoff I need in order to get upside down. I'll describe my kick up entry as Lauren builds some reps in her elephant crawl. Oh, yay. Yay. So if you join Lauren there, stick with her. Do your elephant crawl right now. If you're doing your elephant crawl with me, join me right here. We're looking for baby airs here as we take the hands to the floor and just look for that nice step in entry. Continue, toe point, find a little air, press away, and fall. Repeat on alternate legs, find your preferred leg, but one more repetition or so. As Lauren alluded to, finding that right power or weight, Pick it up and take your time. 
nice and controlled. Finish on a great wrap if you can, and then just shake it up. I can go back to my elephant crawl as Lauren now tries that entry. Oh. Follow along, let the blood come back down. Take a second, and let's go. All right, we're going for kick up or stepping kick ups. Here we go. My second favorite kind of entry. I like to point my toes, reach my arms above my head, press, and again, I'm going to scissor my legs just so I alternate my takeoff foot. In this one, I find it a lot harder for myself personally to keep that hollow body position than, say, my tripod. So that's what I'm focusing on right now. I'm going to do two more in silence. Go. Go the right way. Pick up. I might have seen a scissor in there. That's a fun progression as well. Oh, I said that. I was doing scissors. Okay. Alternating legs. Deliberate. Choose your pattern and stick to it. So then, we, team in here, have to do our tripod entry. Let's see how that goes. We set up most of the same. Arms are heavy, extension through the elbows, hands gripping the floor. Lauren would advocate we press into the floor start, and a little jump, and down. I'll do three on this side. Nice and controlled, I can feel my elbows bend a little. We'll try to stiffen them up. Little shake. And let's do three on the other side. Grip the floor. Press the floor away. Press. Woo. Hmm. You guys are on that side. There we go. And then stiffen that back leg. Oh. Nice. And trying to reach that top leg towards the noon. Working on that. Let's shake it out. Give those hands and wrists a little bit of a break. Let's work on one more toe balance. And then we'll continue last variation of our kickups for today. From here, we will be balancing on one foot. So pull one leg in tight and point that toe. Is it pointed? It could always unfortunately point more. Then from here, press into the floor, stand tall, and hold for 10 seconds or so. Is your knee straight? Is the hip forward? Is the rib cage down? And can you own the descent? The descent. Oh, because the words Ooh. are a little bit muddled there. You can see how that could be quite an intense movement. Same thing on the other side. Point your toes. Extend the hip. Press down to grow up tall. Once you're up, could you shore up that tension and extend the knee? And extend the hip. And hold for one more second. And own it on the way down. We'll shake, let's repeat that one more time on each side. Giving your arms that break, but still challenging your vestibular system. Ooh, too fancy of a word for a side of Vestibular. Leg. Balance, those proprioceptors. Turning on muscles that can feel tension and how you can press down to grow up tall. Hold for one more second up here and own the descent, which might politely burn that calf. We'll shake, switch it one last time, other side. Pulling in, extend the hip, nice and control, up to your toe balance. Additional challenges include looking around that room. Ooh, making it work. And then nice and slow for the down. Whew. I made me think of another song, making it work. It takes a little longer, sometimes it takes a little longer than others. And that's okay, we got tons of time. Lots of time. Lots of time. There is one more fun version of our kick up probably our least practiced in all truthfulness, but allows us to do that squat cartwheel as well. So let's practice a quick series of our tucks. Then I go, you go away. If you know what to do, join me. Lauren's gonna tell you what to do, and then you're gonna follow team Lauren if you wait. That doesn't make sense either. Just tell them what, tell them what to do. Tell them what to tuck about. With your hands gripping the floor. Your body's in this tuck position. You're gonna take a two foot takeoff, pressing into the floor and trying to get your butt over your head. In this position, you're trying to keep those hips or those knees as close to your chest as possible, assuming that tuck position, and trying not to extend towards the ceiling. The hardest part about this is getting your butt over your head, especially if you got we'll one. Two sets, as Lauren said, it's pretty darn tough. If you do it against the wall, it's a nice, encouraging way to make sure you're not going to overkick too much. Nice and controlled, and down. I'm not sure if Lauren was holding oranges or credit cards and hit a bunch of today. 
So either Q, we're making sure that that's what we want, that we can stay compressed, nice and tight. It takes so much strength. Our instincts will need to lay it out. That's cool too, but also work on the compression strength. Tuck in shirts, performance enhancing tips always. That's just hard getting the power to get your hips up with those straight elbows, which I find quite challenging on this because when I jump, I like to bend mine. Nice, pointing those toes, keeping it tight. And again, just finding how much power you need to get into that position. Take your time, do a couple, stall it out, maybe one or two more. And feel the weight in your hands. Is it in that callus line, fingers? Keeping the volume low. You okay there? That's intense. That's intense today. So keeping your volume low, practice curling <clears throat> volume repetitions. More in here, we'll keep it up nicely. Again, what I try to emulate so much of my hands then. Lawrence here is that position right there. <laughs> so strong when you can get that shoulder over top of this. So it's shoulder extensions and wrist extensions here. Beautiful work. That's going to be Lauren's last rep. That should be her last rep because it was a good one. That's what we were saying. That was That's like a unicorn. Happened. Finish on a good rep. That was really well done. Thanks. That looks intense. The whole face did it. Oh. Sure like How are you doing still? Do the hands need a little break, or are they just getting warmed up? That's a little bit more than a warm up. We know that. Let's play along and continue. We have alluded to that squat cartwheel, but before we get going there, let's just hang out our campfire squat. In the studio, one of our favorite games to play is squatigories. We choose a category, go back and forth, and see who fails first. <laughs> in the chat feature or in a direct message, you know, let us know the next squatigory. Play along. What's the category? Um, sports. Sports. Just sports. Lacrosse. <clears throat> Hockey. Baseball. Soccer. Basketball. Football. Tennis. Badminton. Uh, pickleball. Squash. Cricket. Golf. Rugby. Bowling. Ten pin bowling. <laughs> <It hurts. laughs> Three, two, come on up. Have fun. Shake it out. That has been a fun game. I haven't played that in a while. The squat is. Now, let's just pattern our squat cardio. If we're in our squat, stay nice and high for now. Hands in tight. Reach. Oops. You go, you go. I'll okay. watch. So with those hands in tight, transfer weight to the floor. Go hand, hand. And then push away to tall. And then back to center. And then sit low, same thing, hand to hand, and then to tall. Did you do it? Yeah, I just did it. Amazing. The real thing? Oh, no. Oh. What does the real thing look like? Watch this. You can squat. We can get that tux position, and then the back of our squat. And whatever more we can do, I can at least try. And from here, Nice and control, and around. You like this drill because it teaches that weight transfer and allows an opportunity to deal with some of those unsuspecting attributes through our handstand up top. Let's practice a couple more repetitions in this I go, you go pattern. Yeah, I'm seeing and, like I light. Know, I, I'm gonna get you there. You there. Grab these little heavy things here. So we're there we go. Nice and control. And get you to go over each side. Oh. Nice and control. Great. So again, the more quiet you can do this, the more quiet, the less sound you make. The oh. more efficient and powerful you move. Hand, hand, foot, foot. Hand, hand, foot, foot. Nice. Last time each side. Hand, hand, foot, foot. Nice. And soft as we absorb that floor, absorb the landing, up to tall. And shake. Awesome. Back to our balances. Standing tall in your pencil stance. Let's pull to two feet. Can we transfer our base of support to one leg? Keeping the knee stiff, pull away a foot from the floor, point the toe, hug tight as your legs will be in that handstand for maybe one more second, and slowly 
return to the ground. Oof, oof. Your legs, same thing. Don't cramp. Do we go up on Work two? Hard. Oops, we did, I'm sorry. Up on two, and then find that subtle weight shift to the one side. Once you have that with control, pull the other leg up. Oh, looking and staring at that camera for stability, kind of failing here, and nice and slow down. Let's try that one more time each side. On two feet. I'm not going to look at you. I know. Not pulling the hands until you lean on that From here, pull a single leg off the floor. Nice and controlled. Hold for five seconds. Stiffen the leg. Breathe, breathe, and own the down. Nice and controlled. Other side. Start on that little kitten heel. Work towards a six inch spike. It doesn't have to be high, but transfer your weight to one leg. Hug center. Create tension by pulling in, pressing down to grow up. One more second, slow to the ground, and the shake. Whew. I like to do one more set of squat part of this. A lot of fun with that. We'll stay nice and low, or progress. Again, the squat part wheel can start here. Imagine hand hand on a chair, kick through. Doesn't have to be to the floor, but work on the pattern, and the weight transfer. Here we go. Ian's turn. Hand, hand, squat, squat. Soft. Try to use those arms, too, to reach and pull yourself across. Don't be afraid to really sweep over. Nice. Last one or two, and you're using those hands as you grip the floor. Still. Nice. Here we go. Shake it out in between. Two reps. Try left and right. Work on control. Oops. Nice and quiet. And now, ooh, find the balance. There we go. Press three. And then last repetition here. And now, awesome. All right. One more balance for this. Whew. On two feet. Press down to grow up. Stay there. Or join us as we lift away from the floor, transferring our weight to one leg. Stay there. Oh, I jinxed myself. Or from that position, nice and control, straighten the leg out front and hold for three, two, turn it in, find the floor, and then relax. Same thing on the other side. Down with two, press yourself away, point those toes. Transfer your weight to the other side. Balance, hold, stay there. Or, with control, extend the leg out front, nice and tall, toe point two, return and return to the floor. Hmm. Shake that out. We have this beautiful wall space in the back. How about you? Clear yourself out. Do you have a partner you're doing this with? A partner can help too. We're going to start at 10 seconds. Climb up the wall, hold for 10. We'll be growing from 10 to 20 towards 30 seconds on the wall. Maybe your numbers are 1, 2, 3, or 5, 10, 15. Take your time, move Figgy out of the way, and Lauren, your team, Lauren, go for it as you climb the wall and hold to the first round of 10 seconds. For us, maybe just hang out in our squat position and we'll comment on what's going on. The hands press down into the floor. And looking for the hollow shape, pulling that belly button to the spine. At the top, the toes are pointed, staying nice and strong, breathing, hollowing, and three, two, dismount with control. Awesome. Hmm. Stand up if you're in the squat, get your wall scenario going, and it doesn't have to be up and down the way Lauren was to be great. Take your time, build that confidence, closing the gap between you and the wall. All right, team Ian, climb up that wall for your 10 second hold. We'll pull ourselves down in our squat, hanging out here, thinking about what we're going to do when we go back upside down, which is pressing the floor away, tucking our ribs to our hips, pointing our toes, squeezing our butts. Brace, oh yeah, timing too. Whoops, sorry, three, two, you can come down. I think you have to time with the too as well. So let's be a little more strict here. We'll shake it out. 
and then we'll go from 10 seconds towards 20. All good there, Roy? Yeah. Great. Good, good. Okay. So we'll pull ourselves down. Nice and controlled. Hang out in your squat. I'm seeing Lauren pressing down. I started five seconds ago. And now we're looking for a 20 second interval. Something low, something middle, and perhaps something higher. One, two, three, five, ten, fifteen, and five more seconds for that team on the wall. The toes pointed, pressing down, that's an awesome hollow shape there. And stand up tall. And relax. Yeah, a little blue on the wall. Yeah, a little, a little piece of, a little piece piece of, of cardboard there. back there, too. All right. Okay. Switching it up. Seconds. 20 seconds, team Ian. I guess that means we should squat this whole time. You're walking up the wall, facing the wall, ribs to hips, floor pressing away, tucking, nice, bracing, good. Keep breathing as well to keep that extension in the spine for three, two, and then safe dismount. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Is that enough rest for you? You require a little bit more. Set one out, take a moment, and we'll go one more time off that wall. Up the wall. Seconds. 30 seconds, low, medium, high. Work on that endurance, progress time, add strength. As long as time for all. In the squat, it's super challenging to get those arms overhead in the teeth or Y or that eye shape. Work on the upper body, thoracic mobility to improve your handstand and continuing to see improvements made on Laura's walk facing the wall. 10 more seconds. I'm making that number up. I'm so sorry for not keeping track. Probably five, four, three, and then. I felt like a long three seconds. I felt like I talked a lot, and I'm sorry for keeping track. Team, team Lauren counting, hopefully, it's a little better. All right, one more time for Team Ian. Climbing that wall, upside down. Let's make them really go for 30 real seconds here. If we're hanging out in that squat, we're still trying to find that position where our heels are on the floor while we're down here, our chest is lifted. And remembering the rules of those handstands with the toes pointed, the hips tucked, the floor pressing away for about eight more seconds. Five, three, two, and then safe dismount. Nice. Excellent. Good job. Let's come back to one more handstand challenge in just a moment. We we'll take our time, get to the floor, work on our middle split, and take our time. Yeah. And down. You okay? And almost not. <laughs> <laughs> Extend through. Body weight exercises this feels better. <laughs> crazy. You don't need weight. All you need to have is fun, and let's go. From here, those splits. Let's start on our sideline here. On your elbow, we're in a lunging position here. Where's the rib cage? Press the elbow to the floor, engage those obliques. How's the head and neck? I know this isn't always easy. Look at the elbow, that might feel better. From there, extend the back hip. We're gonna pull or compress that front leg in as we extend the back to the front. Relax that effort. One more time. Pack the shoulder, engage those obliques. Pull the front leg in as we press the back hip forward. Avoid the upper body rotation. Press through that elbow to this modified 90 position. From here, extend the front leg. Nice and tall. Hang out here for a moment. Dorsiflex the ankle or plantar flex. Keep one shape or the other. Externally rotate in that hip. Ooh. Internally rotate in that hip. Put your back, relax. Bend that knee. With the back leg, lift off. It might not move a lot. Just the knee, Just keeping the, the foot knee. down. Keeping the foot down, lift the knee. Cramp up those glutes. Hold for one more second and relax. Then, at the back leg, lift the ankle, keeping the knee heavy, making sure the upper body. Doesn't move. Standardize the upper body, stabilize, internally rotate for one more second, relax. Anyhow you wish, switch that up. Same thing on the other side. Start with the lunge. 
sideline lunge here, avoiding the shrug, pressing down, engaging those rib cage obliques. Then we'll compress or pull in the front, hip forward in the back, hold. Breathe, hip extension, and compress in the front. Relax. One more time, pull in on the front. Push from the back, forward with a butt squeeze, and hold, yeah, quad stretch, perhaps two, one, and relax. From here, let's just press up to the tall position, using the floor to again avoid that shift, and as long as you're there, extend the knee. Dorsa flex at the ankle, plantar flex at the ankle, choose one that's appropriate for you, and then externally rotate, keeping the knee straight, internally rotate. <laughs> My body says, woo, that way. Lord body says, woo, that way. Finish one more time on that internal rotation, and then slowly bend the knee. Then, with the back leg, lift up. Nice and controlled, keeping the foot heavy in the back, lifting up, sitting or staying tall. Relax. One more time, same thing. The foot in the back stays down, lift up. Feel a butt cramp, no back tension here, and relax. Alternately, lift the ankle at the back. Sit tall, mind won't move on this side. It's pulsing, it's trying, it's trying to pull away from the floor. And for one more second, then relax. And for the final time, lift up that back ankle. Thinking about it, lifting it up. One more second of work, chill it, and then anyhow you want, stand up. Stand up, safety. Do you have one last final time in school for the day? It's that ultimate challenge. Do you have any suggestions for the ultimate challenge today? One minute. Of one minute of trying to balance upside down. Oh, just straight up. Straight up. Okay. Final movement of the day. Are your hands, wrists, shoulders, body parts ready for it? To get in our places. We're gonna go in five seconds here. So we're gonna start on the second hand on the floor in our studio. And just for about a minute, see what you got in regards to the hands. Play. Two, one, go. You might be off the screen. <sighs> oh, that might have been uh, one of my best handstands. Yeah, good. That was, that was shy. I think my body. Well, I came down, but then I went back up. I was listening to a teacher and a student of mine as I was trying to hang on for dear life there. Don't give up. Try it just a little bit more. But listen to the body. It says no more. Respect that. I do want one more kick up, though, because I know I can finish just a little bit cleaner than that. So, of your style, one kick up only. You go ahead, I'm ready. Hold it for a second. I had a great time. Well, it's just nice to end on, end on a good day. note for your brain. There we, there we go. And finish with that nice dismount of how you intend to all the time. Thank you for being here, either live or in the archive. I'm always Ian. I'm always Lauren. We always have fun and we'll continue to train simply, stay in strong, and hope to train with you very soon. Shoot. Have a great day, take care, and squat gories, you know. Hobby horse. <laughs>